Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing okay. Time to learn. Very nice everyone, this is part 7 and 8, review and check. Okay, very nice everybody, grammar, circle, A or B. We have 15 questions, stop the video, do it. Okay, check with your partner. Okay, let's do it together. What do people do in winter? Is this your bag? Does he like sports? When is the summer in Argentina? Can I park here? Can't you, you can't use the internet here. Can they come to dinner tomorrow? No, they can't. Lisa can sit here. Are you? watching tv right now she's not using a cell phone he's reading a book right now we're swimming in the ocean what are you doing right now i'm making dinner do you usually go to work by train i, I usually walk to work but today i'm driving well done again vocabulary Complete the sentences with a verb. A verb. What is a verb? Go, come, do, stay, play. These are verbs. Circle the correct weather word. Okay, for example, it's snowing or cold. Circle. Okay, stop the video again. Do it, your turn. Check with your partner. Let's do it together. It's raining. Let's stay inside and watch TV. I always play computer games after school. People take boat trips in the summer here. When do people usually visit your city? Can I pay by credit card? You can't take photos in, the mu in this museum. Do you usually wear a suit to work? Here's your pizza. Enjoy your meal. I always have fun on vacation. On the weekend, we sometimes walk in the park. Okay, in the next one, it's snowing or cold? It's cold. Number two, it's windy or rainy? It's windy. Number three, it's sunny or snowing? It's snowing. It's raining or cloudy? It's cloudy. Excellent. Okay, do you remember these sounds? Let's check them. Chair. Clock, owl, cat, computer, yacht, thumb, mother, singer, bull, boot, saw, phone, train. Okay. Now underline the stressed syllable. Very easy. Do it. Mm -hmm. Check the sound with your partner. Let's check it together. Computer, enjoy, piano, August, 17th, well done. Okay, everybody, can you understand this text? Read the text, who is happy about the train problem? Who is not? And there are some questions, answer the questions. Who is walking to work, who's going by bike? Are the people in the text going to work by taxi? Why is each person happy or unhappy? And the last question is for, for you. How do you usually go to work or school? Okay? Stop the video. Do it. Check with your partner. Let's do it together. Okay. So let me read this first. The trains aren't working. How are you getting to work? The weather is very hot and the trains are having problems this morning. Some trains are one or two hours late and some are broken. So how, how are people getting to work today? Check out the messages below. A lot of our readers can't use the train today, so they are walking, riding bikes and more. For example, Jesse Lee says the trains aren't working, but it's okay. I'm going to work by bike. I'm having a good time. My bike is fast. Richard Jones says, I'm walking to work right now. It's a long walk and it's very hot. I'm not enjoying this. 
Marisol Diaz. Why are the trains broken? I can't walk to work. My job is very far from here. I can't go by taxi. It's too expensive. What can I do? And Sergio Santos. What an interesting morning. I'm walking in the park with a lot of other people. I'm meeting new people, getting exercise and having fun. Okay, so the first one, who's happy about the train problem and who is not? Well, Jesse Lee and Sergio Santos are happy. Richard Jones and Marisol Diaz are not happy. Now the questions, who is walking to work? Who is going by bike? Obviously, Richard is walking to work and Jesse is going by bike. Are the people in the text going to work by taxi? No, they aren't. None of them. Why is each person happy or unhappy? Let's check. Jesse is happy because he's having a good time. Richard isn't happy because it's a long walk and it's very hot. Marisol isn't happy because her job is far away and the taxi is too expensive. Sergio is happy because he's meeting new people, getting exercise and having fun. Well done. Very good. Okay. Very good. Listen and choose the right answer. Listen and choose circle the right answer, okay? 3.43 1. What do people do here? It depends. From March to October, they swim, play golf, and walk in the park. From October to February, they ski, snowboard, and go to museums. 2. When do you usually go to the gym? During the week, I go to work early and finish work late. So I usually go to the gym on Sunday. 3. Can I park here? No, you can't park on this street. There's no parking here. Where's the parking lot? Over there. Okay, we can park there. 4. What languages do you speak? I speak Korean. What about Chinese? No. And you? 5. Hi, Lisa. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday today. It's tomorrow, February 17th. 6. Hi, Joe. What are you doing? Oh. Hi, Beth. I'm reading an article on this website. Look. 7. What's that noise, Kara? Oh, it's the TV. My husband is watching sports. 8. Jenny, you look great. You're wearing a nice suit. Thanks. I don't usually wear a suit to work, but the company president is in our office today. Okay, very nice. Check with your partner. Very good. Let's answer them together. What do people do in January? They go to the museums. When does the woman go to the gym? On the weekend. Where does the man park? in the parking lot. What languages does the woman speak? Korean, he can't, she can't speak Chinese. When is Lisa's birthday? February 17th. What is the man doing? Reading. What is the husband doing? Watching sports. And the woman is wearing a suit to work. Very nice. Now you can say what people can do in your town Ask people about weekdays, weekends, say dates, talk about activities you are doing now, talk about the weather, talk about what you usually do and what you are doing today. Good. Now let's watch a short video together. Good? Okay. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a Pilates instructor. Good. Nice. Now face your palms down onto the mat. I really love my job because I love working with people. Press on it and then it just feels sensitive. Okay. Does it hurt when you move? 
I work six days a week. Usually I get up at 7 a.m. to go to work. Okay. okay, now see if you can keep your tailbone as much down on the mat. Every day when I wake up, I take a shower, brush my teeth, make coffee, and read the news. I don't have a TV, so I do everything on my computer. Usually I go to work at 9 a.m., but on my days off, I don't like to leave the house. Today is Sarah's day off, so she isn't going to work. At the moment, she's reading, but Sarah does a lot of other things on her days off. So, what is she doing today? I'm learning to play the guitar, but I'm not very good at it yet. Sarah practices the guitar every day. She can't play it very well, but she's improving all the time. Sarah also likes to knit. She can knit very well. She's knitting a sweater for her brother. Bonjour. Bonjour. Sarah is also learning a new language. I don't have a lot of time on work days, but on my day off, I like to practice learning French. Bonjour. Je Sarah has French classes twice a week. Je suis American. American. She has a friend from France called Eve. Today, she's talking to Eve on Skype. Sarah also does some housework. She's watering the plants and washing the dishes. But she isn't doing a lot of housework. She just wants to relax. Okay, well done everybody. So, what's her name? What does she do? Does she play the guitar every day? How often does she learn French? Okay, these are some questions for you. Okay, ask questions with your partner. What's her name? What does she do? Okay, day off. What does she do on the day off when she's not working? That's it, everyone. Thank you for watching my channel. I hope that you learned something today. Wish you all the best. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.